I'm a ride or die type of guy. This means that my loyalty is unwavering and I will never hesitate to throw that first punch. So if you ask me, what does it really mean to be a man? For me, it means being strong. Even when I'm weak. It means holding it down. Even when there's no one there to hold me up. And when it becomes too much, I just suck it up. Even when I can barely hold it in. I remember being five years old and falling down and my coach telling me to brush it off, even though I was on the verge of tears. I remember being 10 and learning that it was an insult to be called gay. I remember being 15 and knowing that if I had to fight someone to prove that I'm not a pussy, then that's exactly what I was going to do. But then I think to my mom and all the women who made me the man that I am today, the women who taught me how to love and how to nurture are the same strong women who gave me my ethics and my values. And if these women are strong, then so am I. And with this newfound strength, I have some confessions to make that don't necessarily align with the dominant story. I like to cook and I am great at it. I also play the violin and my hidden obsession is dancing with the stars. <laughs> so I'm tired of acting like I don't care. I'm tired of shrinking myself down to fit this idea of what a real man is. I'm tired of loyalty meaning bros before hoes and me worrying about whether or not I'm being a cock block. I'm tired of performing. It's been happening to me for as long as I can remember. It happened to my father, and it's happening to my brothers. Masculinity can be this uncompromising force that suffocates me, and with every breath I sweat until there is nothing left but a puppet waiting to take the stage. A puppet whose hard exterior protects him from feeling anything warm, like love, joy, and happiness for too long. But tonight I will take my final bow because I am done. I quit. I will no longer let your narrative be my reality. I will no longer be society's puppet because I now know that the dominant story, your story, is not the only story. And with every step I take away from you, I learn that I no longer have to take your cues to tell me how to walk, how to talk, how to dress, or what to think. We think that because we are strong, we cannot be wrong. And because we are alike, we are right. But this is what makes us puppets. Masculinity cannot afford introspection because it's a form of self-reflection that requires us to question everything. So I ask again, what, what does, does it really mean to be a man? man? When we tell our young boys, man up, stop being a bitch, don't cry, and we excuse their violence by saying, boys will be boys. He hit you because he liked you. It was just locker room talk. Each is an excuse for abuse, so let us not get it confused. This, this is a men's issue. issue. And as soon as we decide to be a part of the solution, we can start to clean up this pollution that has given rise to toxic masculinity. My masculinity cannot fit in a box. My masculinity will not conform. My masculinity is diverse. But most importantly, my, my masculinity, masculinity is my own. own.